Hey folks, and welcome to the Pipnotic Symposium for the 22nd of November 2019. Uh, today we're going to discuss a little bit of supply and demand theory, and I think something that's really important, and this is the beginning of the buy and the sell zone. So when you look at a price chart, you're seeing uh, either you're using the software or you're not, but you're watching it draw these different areas of supply and demand, or you're doing this stuff uh, by yourself without any assistance, um, and you have what appears to be a nice area of accumulation or distribution and price leaves and so you put, you put your entry to buy or sell at this area uh, later to find that, that you are stopped out uh, very very quickly thereafter and, um, and I think there's, a, there's a, a very important piece of the puzzle that's missing when you're simply trading these areas that show uh, great strength okay and this is related to the buy and the sell zones and where they are I just want to show you three trades or rather three pending orders that we had in this week that didn't get filled uh, just to illustrate uh, how powerful it is when you focus on the buy and the sell zones okay so we'll start here on the on the Canadian dollar Japanese yen so we have we have a move okay and the move is is the entire swing for the time that's visible on the time frame that I'm looking at so this is a four hour chart and this the most recent swing moves from here up to here Okay, and then price has retraced a little bit just here. So we have the move that starts from here to here. And this is just a clear swing, okay? Just a very clear swing. So you don't want to look at the small ones in between. You want to focus on the very clear uh, waves of, of, of price movement on the, on the time frame that you're looking at. Okay, and then you, you can see that when price formed this top here, and then we started to form supply here and then move lower. Uh, this is important to us and why is this important to us this is important because you can see that this this wave high this push higher um, was exhausted and then price started to retrace and you can see that very clearly here when you look out um, the bars that kind of move back in and, and, and attempt to regain some of the territory um, that we saw here on this price high here so price managed to move back to this level here and when you see stuff like this well you might be tempted to to buy here okay because we had we had a really nice de uh, a departure in price from this area. Price came down and we moved higher. Okay. And then maybe you'll see another one like this one here. How actually this one here, price actually moved up pretty strongly. We had price move down. We moved sideways. We were in the area for a very limited amount of time. And then price was was able to, to move higher to opposing supply. Okay. And so this is this is really important to focus on because when you see areas like this. You have to remember that that we're in a move like this we must be buyers and we must be buyers in this leg and if we wish to sell then we're selling in this leg okay you can't buy in this leg because you are putting the odds against you because oh excuse me can I get my leg out of the knot because you have this stuff here this is not demand this is not demand this is not demand this is a reaction to the to demand the demand is going to be in the leg that's moving up or it's going to be or the supply is going to be in the leg that's moving down if you have a price movement that looks like that okay so you'll be selling in this leg here and you'll be buying in this leg here so buying here is not allowed Okay, so even though you have these little price movements where price comes down, we have this little micro demand, price bounces, it's, uh, this is a lower probability trade. And so you have to find these buy and sell zones, and these are the ones that are going to really change your experience uh, when you're trading. So if we look at this, price is here, we went up to here, and it came from here. So this is the origin of this move. Notice that price is telling you something here, how we had price move up we form this lovely area of demand which we put an order to buy which we missed by I mean a fraction of a pip it was less than the spread and then price moved higher we pulled back we moved higher we pulled back okay these little pullbacks these are really important because each time price pulls back essentially we're advertising a, a discount price that will onboard some some buyers and drive price higher okay so when you start to see this this move uh, peter out and start to move lower well then you know that the buying is done for the time being or the profit taken has, has taken over and then price is going to start moving back down and so what you want to do in a situation like this is you want to focus on the beginning of these buy zones here okay so this is the beginning of a buy zone why because last time price came here to this price level we managed to leave okay prior to that we had this one price came down 
to this buy zone here we poked into it we departed here we had another one price poked into this area and then we left and so these are the ones that you want to reference for entries and so if we use let me remove these lines we we'll use rectangles so you notice that we have we have one that's here so this here is not demand this is a reaction to demand the demand is here sorry let me do it the other way here okay so this is this one and then we have uh, we have this one here so price left we tested and then we left and so this is a reaction to this demand okay and then we have if you want to focus on the small ones we have uh, this one up here price we didn't really have any big departures but we did have in this one tested this one this one tested this one so we have three levels on top of each other so we have child 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 parent so you would take the lowest one which looks something like that okay <clears throat> so this is let's focus on this this is super important here price went up we had a few attempts to go higher and we failed notice that price even though we didn't go any higher price did respect this area for a little bit of time so we had the we had a reaction there this one price we reacted here and this one in mean, price reacted a lot we went from from this area all the way up to here okay and this is super important because when you're buying in here you are these are only going to be children here and the parents and rather the demand is here and the reactions to demand are going to be down here so buying buying here is a bad idea because this is reacting to this okay um, so trying to bind buy in this little tiny price structure just here on a on let's say a woman or a 50 minute is a bad idea because this is a reaction to this and the same thing here because this is a reaction to this and so you wanna when you see something like this where you see price move higher and then move lower you have to divide the chart so you go like this you mark off the high you go down like that and you say okay I'm only selling and I'm only buying so the price the patterns at the demand over here we buy at the supply here we sell at okay this stuff is counter trend this is shorter term and this is the longer trend stuff and so when you see this when you see this we had our entry here I mean why did we put our entry here we didn't get filled but that doesn't matter because we had a reaction so this is just confirmation that the trade was a good it was a good trade it was a good decision okay and the reason we chose this one it was because that I'm not interested in this here because this is just levels testing levels so we have a lot of children in here okay there's there's uncertainty a lot of uncertainty here um, what we do is we need to find the deepest retracement on this leg here in accordance to where price currently is here on its way back down towards the origin and you can see the lowest one was we have the hard you can start here well, first of all we had we had this one here once price tests that then you go to the lowest test okay and the lowest test is here okay which brings our attention to this one here okay so this is the beginning of the buy zone but knowing that this is a reaction to demand it brings your attention to this one here so the new buy zone starts here okay so you're only buying at a price uh, rather you're not buying at a price any more expensive than the low of this pullback here okay and once price tests that well then you stop trying to buy here because the price has already been back here so when this happens we have a reaction well then the the buy zone moves down to here that doesn't mean that you buy here it just means that price will will be advertised as a discount price beyond this point here and below that we have this beautiful area of demand and this is a beautiful area of demand because this is in the move that went higher and it's just a beautiful pattern we have a level on top of 11 how we have a parent we have a child on top of each other you can see like uh, this white actually do we let's have a closer look yes because this candle here the body the close of this candle is above the high of this candle so we do have kind of a parent child relationship in here okay but this is just a very nice area and you can also notice if we zoom in a little bit more you can see that we have that pattern we that we've discussed many times where you have kind of the highs like price doesn't manage to move through these highs but if you look at the lows we start to see this upward sloping low like this okay so you see uh, we have micro demand being formed at this price point 
we have this area of resistance it's being tested 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 and all of a sudden we have the breakout this is telling us that we have a very high probability trade at this area okay and so when we see these we want to focus on these we do not want to be buying here we want to be buying on the move up because this is where the demand is the stuff here is the reaction of the demand so if we slice up this chart we have I'm going to put it in two halves we have from the high to the low this is where actually I'm going to change the colors so we have you know I'm just going to do from here to here so we have the buy area first so we have the buy area is here and the sell area is here we go from here to here so this is a sell area okay so we're only allowed to sell here and we're only allowed to buy here and you do this by finding the major swing so we have the major swing so I'm just finding colors here changing the colors it, the origin of it is here the destination of it this is where it stops and our price is in between so between this area this low the origin of the move and the high of the move we are only allowed to buy and when price starts to move down then we're only allowed to sell because we'll be selling um, uh, these rallies on our way down to demand or, uh, or ultimately the origin here okay so we put our entry in to buy here uh, and we put this in the chat room days in advance um, some some of the guys in the room got into the trade because because they they perhaps added a couple of pips for the for this for the spread uh, and others like myself didn't okay so this is just a really good example of that so you have to identify the leg up which is where you're buying and the leg down is which is your where you're selling and the opposite of course for the other side of the market you have price going down and going up and this from here to here you're selling and from here to here you're buying okay so you're not allowed to buy in these little micro areas that form here because these these little bounces here they are reactions to something historical in price and so these are not demand these are reactions to demand especially if um yeah but i'll just leave it at that they are i want to keep this simple okay so let's have a look at, a, at another uh, instance we had a euro cad on which we we didn't get filled on either um, and i'm just gonna go like this and highlight the area this is the area here let's zoom out and then you ask yourself the question well I mean why here why was this a nice area to sell well this is a nice area to sell because well we have our let's mark off our sell area this is a high this is the all-time low or on this on this chart so you mark this off like so and then we have the other side I'm just going to change the color to to green from here to here to where price currently is okay so this side you're only allowed to sell and this side you're only allowed to buy and so now you go in and you identify the beginning of these areas that we can either buy and sell at and you can see here we had one just here this is a nice area just here sorry this the table is, uh, service is a little bit sticky um, and so we, we can see we had a test here we had another test even when price formed this low we managed to come back and test this area several times and finally it broke and when price is consumed here well then you ask yourself the question what area of demand was able to uh, move through this area of supply and it's this one here so this is a, a nice area to sell sorry to buy and price went up and when this happens you're always marking off the beginning of the sell zone initially the sell zone was here when price had a deep push it went up to here you can see that price came to that price level again here okay and once price moves through it well then you have to start to look higher okay and you can see that we have the beginning of the sell zone here and this is about where price came to so we had a little bit of black space between this area of supply and the beginning of the sell zone price entered that little that little price window and this is where we saw the reaction okay so we have another one the third one where we didn't get filled this could still work so you have so you have the area you have the sell you have the buy zone which is from the low to where price currently is we have the sell zone which is from 
here and to here. Okay, so you're only allowed to sell in here and you're only allowed to buy here. So when price is moving higher like that, you always have to be referencing the leg down. And the leg down is telling us that we have we have the beginning. First we had the beginning of we had supply. First of all, we had supply that left. Then we had these pullbacks into it. This is these are these are micro pullbacks. So these are telling us where we have the beginning of sell zones. Okay, price came back to it once. So you move the beginning of the sell zone, maybe a pip higher okay or however deep deeply price had to um, uh, move into to, to attract selling and then it left and then price comes back up to it and then notice that between the high the highest high since the departure and the area of supply above price and this is just like like a really nice sweet spot as you can see here price poked into it once we left we poked into a second time and then we're, we're starting to, to break down slowly Okay, so this is just another example here where you have the leg that the whole move is, is hanging on and you have the attempt to move into it. So it's just a really good idea to slowly begin to break down price. And you start on your major swings. And we'll, we'll do an example. Okay, let's look at the, let's say the American dollar Swiss franc. So if we look at this, you can see that oh, there's not a lot of clarity here, is there? So let's go... There's none there. So let's, let's, let's just focus on this time frame, the four hour time frame. Okay, so we have, if we look at like major swing points, where do we have those? <clears throat> well, we have those. We have a low and we have a high. Price went up to the high and then we retraced. Okay, so here we are able to establish where the edge of the, the cell zone is from, from the high to here and the buy zone change the color green is from the low up to the where price got to and notice here that we have beginnings of sell zones we had we had this one here we had this one here and we had this one here and I think maybe we have a wick that's just down here that went down into here okay and so here you can see that I mean price started to come down to these wicks which is kind of the beginning where uh, of these buy zones exist but also notice that it's pretty messy here. if you look at this it's very difficult to see exactly what's going on okay but just to keep things simple this is where this is the leg that we buy on so price points reference points of demand and this move higher and these are the ones that we sell in these are price points in the move on the way lower towards the origin here but also notice in the other market we looked at we had higher lows and higher highs these are easier to navigate in because because these these swings are clearer okay and price if we have an area of demand here I mean price has not been to this area hasn't traded in this area before okay it's just coming from below we form this area of demand and then price departs on this one here notice that price has already been to this area here and here and here okay and this is where we have some demand here so the beginning of the buy zone for this is here okay and so buying here even though we've divided the chart into our buy zones and our sell zones it's it's not a good uh, it's not a good place to buy because we have price trading at these areas historically and this is what you'll see when you're when you're kind of in a range bound market like we have here okay and so when you see this you have to go on the bigger time frames because you know on the bigger time frames price will be for example moving lower and then it'll be moving sideways figuring out what it's going to do and so this what we can see here is actually this that we can see here and so this is simply ply price reacting to a sell zone where we have price here this is a sell zone and this is the beginning of the buy zone the lower part of it so in a situation like that you want to be looking for areas to buy but you do not want to sell anywhere in here unless you're on the much higher time frames and your entries on the smaller time frames because you should only be selling at supply on the leg that this whole price is hanging on. Okay. I hope that was maybe a little bit complex, the concept, but I'm kind of chewing it for a little while and then maybe we can have a, an, a, an, another iteration um, during another uh, symposium. But this is, um, I think, a really good way for you guys to, um, to help divide and conquer. Let's have a look at something that's clear. Okay, here we have another one. Okay, where we have where we have we have a buy zone 
and we have our cell zone here. But notice that we also have, I mean, price has already been back to this area here, here, and here. So this is a slightly lower probability trade because price has already been to these price points here. There's no fresh, this is fresh supply if we focus on this swing, but on the macro level, I mean, price has already been back to these these price points traded at these price points historically. You want to find fresh areas of liquidity that where price has not had the opportunity to trade. And so you can see that the fact that price managed to come back to this area historically just means that, I mean, liquidity, you have the cup here, you have the, the level of liquidity here. I mean, it's going down. The longer time spends in an area, the less liquidity is available in that area. And so this is just a lower probability. I mean, you can you can see this and say, yeah, this is a great area, but price can easily move up to this area and attempt to sink, rather seek fresh liquidity, which is going to be above and beyond this area or these highs, as you can see here. So let's go to the maybe the daily chart. And here you can see exactly what we're talking about, where we have the cell, the cell zone. We have the buy zone here. Okay, so what does that tell us about selling here? Is that would that be a good idea? Well, that's when discretion is involved. Okay, so smaller time frames, yeah, you can certainly take trades, intraday, shorter term trades, but longer term, rather your expectation that this that this trade is going to go on for 500 pips um, may be a little bit unrealistic because price needs to seek the big liquidity, which is higher. Okay, so we have had the beginning of the sell zone, which was here, price tested it. We have another beginning of the sell zone here, price tested it. Notice here that price been back to this area here and here. And so the fresh liquidity for this price structure is here. This is the beginning of it which brings our attention to some micro supply up here around where the big figure is the one uh, one point or oh, difficult to see 13 okay so this is a this is an interesting area so this is probably where we're going to see price uh, gravitate to and then potentially move lower and away from okay then we have this area at the top here when you have this here so notice, I mean, price has already been back here. I mean, all in here. We have this one here, which I like very much. And this is interesting to us because beginning of the sell zone is here and price didn't even manage to poke into it. So when price comes up to the one, like this this little yellow box here, I think we're going to start to see some people uh, re-engage in positioning themselves uh, long. Sorry, short, short. And here, notice that price reacted on, on some demand down here. And now price is leaving. So we go to the four hour chart and we have the whole thing starting over again where we have we have the buy zone starts here we go up to the highest high which is here that's the this is the buy zone or the buy side and then we have the sell side which is from here and down okay so we're selling here this is like the sell bit sell side we're selling here in expectation that price returns or starts to move towards the origin which is down here so I'm selling on this side and I'm buying on this side and this is actually a really clear example of that and again on a macro level price is probably uh, going to move slightly deeper than this uh, this area of supply or slightly uh, slightly lower than this area of demand okay and so just keep this in mind and when you do it like this if you if you get the chart and you mark off the right side so the right side and the left side well then you know what you should be doing you know that on this side you should only be buying on this side you should only be selling okay we shouldn't be trying to buy here because this is not demand this is a reaction to demand and this is where the demand is right here okay and it's already been tested and below that, I mean, we have the beginning of the buy zone, which is down here, which brings our attention to this one here. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. 25 minutes It's a long video. Um, but chew on this a little bit. And if you have any questions, um, I'd be thrilled to hear from you. And, uh, and try and see if this works for you. If it works for you, use it. If it doesn't, um, maybe I can try and explain it in a different way in a future symposium. Thanks for watching and have a lovely weekend.